Morning ladies, it is super early. It's about 5.30 in the morning and this is my usual time to wake up. Um, I feel most productive. Um, I feel like I have a strategic plan in place and I just always feel like I'm really focused this early in the morning. And this morning I was working on my goals and started to think that I should probably share some steps with you ladies regarding how to actually be effective when um, setting and actually accomplishing or reaching your goals. So how many times have you set a goal only to fall short of that goal just a few seconds later. You know, think about the new year with the, with 2017 quickly approaching. Think about how many people are like, new year, new me. This is going to be my year of success. This is going to be my year of wins. This is going to be my year of optimism. This is going to be my year of whatever. And all these people are setting these goals. But then within a few weeks, they fall short. And there's plenty of reasons and plenty of factors why women fall short from reaching their goals. And I could go over that millions and millions of times over. But my biggest thing today is I want to talk to you guys actually about how to be successful when reaching goals so that you actually can accomplish the goals. It's not something that you set and that you hoped to accomplish, but yet instead, it's something that you actually do accomplish. So the first step that you want to do when you're always working towards a goal is to identify what goal it is that you want to reach. So is that goal you want to write a book? Is that goal you want to lose 10 pounds? Is that goal you want to start a business? Whatever it is, you really want to get down to the nitty gritty of what that goal is. The second step to be effective when reaching goals is to identify your why. You see, if you just set a goal just to set a goal, you probably won't be successful. There has to be a really strong driving force behind that goal. So is your why to be successful because success is a value of yours? You know, is your why because this is a goal you've been putting off and you're sick of it and you know that this is going to open new doors for you? Like you really need to identify that why. And I'll tell you now, right here at step number two, if your why isn't strong enough, your goal will go nowhere. And that I can promise you. I had a client who said that she wanted to lose weight. And she wanted to lose weight because that's what everyone else was doing. That's everyone else's New Year's goal. And she couldn't really identify another goal that she liked enough herself. And so she kind of just jumped on the bandwagon. And a very, very obvious, she failed at that goal because that wasn't a goal that aligned with her. It wasn't a goal that aligned with her values. That wasn't something that she was truly focused on. It wasn't something she was willing to do and put in sacrifice. Goals take time, effort, dedication, and sacrifice. And if it's not something that you truly desire, you're not going to put in the time for it. You're not going to be dedicated to it. You're definitely not going to be focused. And you're not going to sacrifice the things that are also important to you. So let me give you another example. I had a client who said she wanted to write a book. And every day we got on the phone and we would talk. And I'd say, hey, how's this book going? What you know? What's up with it? And all these other things will come in place. Oh, I was catching up on my, my soap operas. Oh, I was catching up on whatever. Oh, I was doing this. And she had all these other things in place. And what I really had to break down to her was, well, that goal is not that important to you. Because had that goal been that important, it would have been up here. It would have been one of your top priorities. It would have been number one. But because it wasn't up there, that shows me that that goal wasn't that important. Because that goal didn't have that much value or that it didn't hold that much importance or that much weight, she was not going to put in that effort to work towards that goal. And so that's something really big I want you guys to do. This is why I made this number two, because I don't want you guys to get all the way down to step number four. I don't want you guys to have dedicated 10 hours or 10 days or 10 months into a goal and then realize that it's not really something you want to work towards. It kind of goes with the quote, climbing the ladder of success, but realizing you're against the wrong wall. wall. You don't want to work towards a goal that really doesn't matter to you. So really, really, really really dig deep and reflect and review and look at the inside and see what is the why behind that goal. The third step to being successful when reaching goals is to break those goals down into bite-sized chunks. So how can you accomplish this goal in a reasonable amount of time? You see, so many people are like, all right, I'm gonna be a billionaire by the end of January. Okay, how is that, how is that possible when you make $20,000 a year? Be real, okay? And then once you identify that time frame, break that goal into real, achievable, small steps. We as individuals love wins. We're addicted to those highs. We're addicted to those glorifications, those times where we're doing well. And if you say, all right, I want to lose 30 pounds by the end of January, and you don't see those small incremental steps, you don't see those small weight losses, you're going to give up because you feel hopeless. You feel like the goal isn't working. But if instead you make realistic deadlines and you break it into bite-sized chunks, you'll be more effective at actually reaching that goal. So one of the things I did when I recently published my book was I, I dedicated an hour a day to my book, okay? 
And every day I had a goal that was my big goal, but then I had small bite-sized chunk goals that would lead me to that major goal. And so what I did was I'd say, okay, so by the end of today, I need to have four pages written. By the end of today, I need to have so-and-so book finished or whatever it was so that it was leading up to the big goal. And the way that I do that is I really make a, a really organized goal sheet when I'm setting goals. So I have a, ma a main goal. I have, you know, three chunks of the goal. So how can I check myself maybe quarterly or monthly or whatever. And then under those three like headline goals, I'll have smaller steps, small incremental steps that I can take to actually reach that goal. And it's very important that we do that because we do need those little wins to keep us going, to give us that momentum to keep driving forward. And then the final step is um, that you really, really, really want to visualize that goal. OK, if you can't see that goal and I'm not talking about like, yeah, I hope it happens. Maybe it happens. Maybe it won't. I'm talking about if you can't see, taste, touch and feel that goal. It doesn't feel as real to you. You're again not going to have that drive behind it. So when I think of my goals and I visualize my goals, I visualize what's that, what that's going to look like. When I publish my book, I visualize what it was going to look like with, for me being at book signings and signing my name and my signature on everyone's book. I visualize what women are going to feel like when they gain the information that I shared in that book. I visualize what it would feel like to have a little bit of extra money in my bank account for my book royalties. So I visualize what it would look like because when I see the end picture and I see the end result, it gave me so much drive. It gave me so much, it increased my passion to keep pushing to actually accomplish that goal. So those are the four steps that I always use when I'm working on goals. I identify what it is that I really, really want to accomplish. I identify my why and I dig deep with that why. Because again, you want that why to be really, really, really strong. The third step is I identify the steps, bite-sized steps, bite-sized chunk goals that I need to actually be able to reach that goal. And the fourth step is I visualize what that goal will feel like once it's accomplished. So those are the steps that I, I, I use for every single goal. And I promise because especially since I've gotten past step number two and realized that this is a why for me, it's a value that's in alignment with what I desire. I've been successful at reaching those goals and that's what I want for you. So feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to talking to you ladies later. Continue with clarity.